what is up welcome or welcome back to my channel for today's video i'm going to be updating you on my recent sephora hauls i'm calling this my recent sephora hauls but there's like a couple of products that weren't from sephora hauls but from like pr hauls and some other places i bought stuff from but the main purpose of this video is to kind of like update you on the products that i got in recent hauls and kind of like share my opinion because usually in a haul video I haven't really tried the products and I feel like it's really helpful to actually hear what someone thinks of the product. So it's actually going to be like a sort of speed reviews video about some recent products that I've tried. So we have some Merit lipsticks, we have the Gucci Beauty blushes, we have the Summer Fridays lip balms, we have some Glossier products, some Charlotte Tilbury, Natasha Denona. So I think this video is going to be really helpful if you've been watching my channel for a while and you've seen these products in videos but you're actually curious about how I still feel about these. So that's what we're doing today. If you're new here, then hi, welcome to our channel. I'm so glad you found it. I upload video videos every single week. We'll love it if you subscribe. But for now, if you want to see my thoughts on my recent hauls, then please keep watching. So I'm actually going to be starting off with a product from Gizu. I actually got this in PR for an Instagram campaign, but this is available at Sephora. And what I'm going to tell you about this product is my honest thought, and that is I absolutely love this hair perfume. So this is the Gizu Honey Infused Hair Perfume, and this is is absolutely lovely this smells amazing if you love the gizu scent of like the hair oil but of course the hair oil i only take like a little bit because i don't want my hair to get greasy but if you still want to smell like the gizu hair oil without applying too much hair oil this perfume is really nice because this is going to give you that gorgeous gizu honey scent without making your hair greasy so i've been wearing this so much for the past couple of weeks i really am enjoying this and i think it's a great product i only usually do like two or three sprays on my hair because I feel like that's plenty but it's absolutely amazing so if you like the Kisu scent I feel like this one will not disappoint then I want to update you on some Glossier products. I think I showed these in my most recent haul. So I actually got three of the Cloud Paints and then one of the Ultra Lips. Starting with the Ultra Lip, I think this is a really pretty formula. It's kind of similar to the Charlotte Tilbury Hyaluronic Happy Kiss, but it's, I feel like, a little bit more thin. So this is lovely if you like that glossy lip. It gives a little bit of pigment. It definitely is more pigmented than I thought it was going to be, but it's still like that glossy balm feel and texture and it makes your lips look really pretty. I will say the Charlotte Tilbury ones probably have a tiny bit more glossiness to them, but this one still gives a beautiful sheen. I did get this in the shade Villa, and I will say it's maybe like a little bit too pink from what I usually wear. I've been like more into like these brown tones like I'm wearing right now. So I feel like at the moment the shade isn't really what I'm reaching for a whole lot but I still think it's a beautiful shade and it looks pretty with and without a lip liner but I will say I do prefer this with a lip liner so I can give my lips a little bit more definition and shape. Then I showed you these three Glossier Cloud Paints. I already had one in the shade Dusk but now I ended up getting the shade Puff which is a pink one and then also the shade and Wisp. Now, Wisp has really surprised me. This is the lilac one, and this was like the main reason why I wanted to make this order in the first place because this was a new shade and I thought it looked so pretty. I see so many people talk about like cool toned lilac blushes all the time, and I hadn't tried any, so I thought it would be nice to finally try one of these. And I just really wanted to try more from Glossier, so this was a perfect fit for what I was looking for. And I actually think this is an amazing blush. A little bit of this goes quite a long way, but still it's less pigmented than I thought it was going to be, which I like because with this one, for instance, the shade Soar, a little bit really goes a long way and I'm actually a little bit disappointed by how pigmented this one is personally. I feel like it is nice, but for this formula, I feel like the shade is a little bit too vibrant for my skin tone at least. I think if you have a deeper complexion, this one would look stunning, but for my light skin tone, I feel like a lighter shade just looks a little bit more flattering. So this this one in the shade Soar, I'm not too big of a fan of. I don't dislike it, I still think it's a great blush. But from the three that I have right here, this one is definitely my least favorite. And this one I'm like mainly so surprised by how it looks on my skin. I feel like it looks super natural even though lilac isn't like a natural shade of blush at all. I feel like it's quite different but it still like blends into your skin like this beautiful sort of like cool toned. It's almost like a super cool toned pink where it's not vibrant purple or anything like that but it's still like different than wearing a pink blush. So I feel like this one is really nice and I think a really nice beginner option if you've been wanting to try like a lilac blush just like I was. And then this one in the shade Puff, 
I am a tiny bit disappointed by mainly because the shade is not the same as the shade that it looks like on the actual tube. This actually came in a box and the shade of pink that was on the box is much more what it looks like than this one. So I feel like this is a really cool toned pink, but this is definitely much more of like a warmer pink. So more of like a peachy pink. And I saw some people complain about this online that they seem to have changed the formula and the shade changed as well, but it's still called puff. So I feel like that's a little bit confusing, but I still think that this is really pretty and the cloud paints are kind of like a gel to cream formula. So they're really easy to work with you can apply this with your finger as well and if you are maybe like a beginner to makeup or you like really natural makeup looks I feel like this one is really suitable for you it's not going to be too pigmented it's easy to blend out and it looks gorgeous on the skin so that is the shade puff from the glossier cloud paints and my overall review of those glossier blushes I will keep all three in my collection for now I don't know why, but I have been looking at these Merit lipsticks for the longest time ever and for some reason they just really intrigued me, so I thought I would finally try them. I actually got two shades, but I think I left one of them at work. So the one I have right here is the shade 1990 and it's actually the one that I'm wearing on my lips right now. The other one I got is the shade Slip, which I feel like is a similar shade. It's a little bit more cool toned, but it's also just like a little bit lighter and this one is a little bit deeper, but this has surprised me so, so much. I feel like it is a beautiful beautiful shade and I think the shade 9090 is the deepest one out of their entire lipstick collection but it's still look but the way this goes on is really sheer so you're able to build this up to like more of like a deeper brown kind of what I have now but if you just do one swipe it's just a super sheer shade of brown and I just feel like these lipsticks are super nice they have slowly turned into my favorite lipsticks at the moment these are pretty much all I've been wearing for the past week or two and I just feel like they're super comfortable on the lips I love how they look and I also like the shades it was definitely a bit of a risk for me to buy two brown tone shades because like I said, I'm not usually one to like these brown tones. I'm usually more into like the pinky tone lipsticks, like the Glossier one that I just showed or maybe like even a bit lighter. But a brown tone lipstick like this, I didn't really have in my collection. So I really wanted to try them. And since I was going to get this formula, I thought I would get like a shade that was a little bit more unique in my collection. So I'm personally super happy with the shades that I chose. I feel like they go with so many looks. They still look sort of like natural, but they give my lips a beautiful color. So these Merit lipsticks, I do highly recommend. I think they're really stunning and a lot of people would like these. A lip product that I was a tiny bit let down with was the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. Now I'm starting off by saying this is not a bad lip balm at all. I actually really like the feel of this on the lips, but what I was mainly disappointed by was the hype that this is getting compared to what it actually is. So I like to compare this one to the Charlotte Tilbury Pingasm lip gloss that I got sort of like at the same time. This is from the new Charlotte Tilbury collection. I feel like they were advertised similar in what they would look like on the lips, but I feel like the Charlotte Tilbury one is much more of a pink on my lips than the Summer Fridays one. Now I will say, of course, the Charlotte Tilbury is marketed as a lip gloss and this one is marketed as a lip balm. But the way people were showing this on social media and saying how good it was sort of made it look like it was going to be more pink than it actually is but on my lips it's pretty much clear so for a lip balm it is nice I do like it I got it with like a voucher but I believe originally it's like 28 euros or something like that which I think it's just not worth the money for a lip balm like this there are so many nice lip balms or lip oils that are so much more affordable than this one in hindsight I would have rather repurchased my Fenty Skin lip oil instead of buying this lip balm because it's too expensive for a lip balm for me but at the same time it doesn't look as good as a gloss like this does on my lips so kind of like a little bit icky about this one I don't think it's a bad product but at the same time I am kind of like disappointed so I will say this was a bit of a miss for me then of course you can imagine the Charlotte Tilbury Pinkasm lip gloss I really like I love this formula so much it's my favorite Charlotte Tilbury lip gloss formula it looks amazing on the lips whenever I wear this on top of a lipstick it looks good if I wear it on top of a lip liner it looks good if I wear it on its own it looks good so this is a really really nice lip gloss for me and then for the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm palette that I've showed in many videos already I'm still loving this one I'm wearing this on my eyes right now I'm actually loving to wear this as eyeshadows last week I wore this as an eyeshadow and I went to the store and I even got like a compliment on my eyeshadow even though I did like a super quick eye looks so I feel like these shades look super pretty on the eyes as well so if you have this palette and you think it's maybe like a bit too deep for your skin tone if you have a similar skin tone than me then definitely try this on your eyes because I just 
really like these shades and they blend out really easily. So I'm still really enjoying this Glowgasm palette from Charlotte Tilbury. And this is no surprise for me, but I also still really like the Natasha Denona Yucca palette. Again, these shades are so pretty. I would love to see a palette like this with like a true neutral brown color, sorry. But with these special shades like Plantasia and this one right here, I feel like that would be so, so stunning. Because even though I love this and I wear this a lot, I don't wear green eyeshadow as much as I like to wear a brown eyeshadow. So I would absolutely love if she came out with sort of like a new version of the Biba palette that is this price point and this size and then includes this new shimmer formula because it is absolutely stunning and I just love this palette. So those were all the products I wanted to update you guys on today. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have tried these products as well and what your thoughts on them were. I would love to know and if you did enjoy this video, I would absolutely love if you gave it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos. All of these things would help me so much with my channel and I'd really appreciate it. But with that said, I thank you guys all so much for watching. I really hope you have an amazing day and I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye!